Good morning, I am back in London. I arrived back uh, yesterday morning. I, <clears throat> after a long flight back from Vegas via New York, I lost my luggage halfway, so I didn't get that back until yesterday uh, afternoon. So no, actually the day before yesterday I arrived back. Um, today I am in London and I'm gonna be speaking on stage on a group, men's grooming panel uh, with some amazing guys in the industry. I had a creative head Salon Smart event. So today <clears throat> I'm about half a mile away. I'm just going to go and get some breakfast, uh, check over the questions they're going to be asking us on stage again, and then head over to the venue. I think we're on stage about 11.50, but I'm going to try and get there for about 10 so I can get uh, get everything ready and talk to everybody and meet everybody. And then <clears throat> after that, I've got to rush straight to the Russian embassy because I need to try and get my visa sorted out because I'm flying to Russia tomorrow. To launch Q1922 by JM Keen, men's line products out there. So um, it's all been a bit last minute because I was out of the country, uh, but hopefully I can get that sorted today as well. Just walking along to uh, the venue where Creative Head Sound Smart is today, and it's better clear skies and sun than it was in both Las Vegas and Hawaii on this trip. Look at that. Use your digital tool routinely and apply your presence effectively. So you are local, you may be part of uh, multiple communities. The Lions Club are collective.com and there's also some leaflets at the back by the ballot box. Do please pick one up. <coughs> now, what is it? Just a quick update. Uh, Creative Head uh, Sound Smart yesterday was absolutely amazing. It was really, really good fun being on stage with the guys. Um, Especially next to Mr. Robinson. I love that guy. He's really, really cool. He speaks his mind and he just says it how it is, which is always a great quality to have. Um, he's all about the future of Barbara as well and pushing things forward. And um, the other guys there from Ruffians and Jonathan were also uh, great guys. And I think it all went really well. After that, I had to rush over to the Russian Embassy in, in North Central London. <clears throat> and after a lot of craft and spend a lot of time in there. I think I got my visa in. I'm waiting to find out today, today's the next day. I'm waiting to find out if I get my visa. I should find out the earliest is five o'clock tonight and the time now is about half 12. So I'm just waiting on that. <clears throat> and then with that comes through, my flight will be tomorrow uh, evening and I'll make it out to Russia to join up with, um, join up with James Beaumont and the rest of the guys out there. I'm um, just waiting on my visa now, so I'm just going to sit here and I'm just going to do some do some work. I'm in another hotel um, in Islington and I'm just going to sit here and do some work and go over my TED talk. Nothing too exciting. Hopefully next time I speak to you I'll be in Russia. That's it, I'm signing out. Okay, so I didn't get my visa yesterday. I went over to the visa application centre about 4.35 o'clock. It wasn't there. So <clears throat> that's enough. Next day on, I spoke to the guys in Russia. Um, I've just had a, a WhatsApp from them saying that I need to get down to the um, visa centre now. They phoned up the embassy <clears throat> and whatever they've done, they've pulled some strings to push my visa along. So apparently it's there ready now. Uh, I'm going to head over there and see if it is. I was told yesterday there was no circumstances it would be there before four, but we'll see. Um, my flight's at five o'clock and it is around about just gone quarter past 11. So hopefully it is there because it's not going to be enough time to get over to the airport and. Um, Heading my way to Russia. So, last time I recorded, I was pretty happy because I got my visa. I was on my way to Russia to get this thing done with Kuhn, really excited. But on the plane, just as we were about to, well, just as we left the airport to take off, you know, with the planes like docking, you get on, uh, there was a bit of a kerfuffle. And what actually happened was, someone actually managed to get run over by the plane. So, uh, after three hours of sitting on the plane, um, with no English spoken really, just, just Russian, um, and people translating for me a little bit, um, found out that that's what happened, and that we would have to get off the plane. There was fire engines, six or seven police cars, ambulances, a whole lot, police dogs, all sorts of stuff going on, and we just had to sit there. Uh, with no English being told to us and then 
Basically we managed to get off the plane and we came over to the Hilton at the Gatwick and we waited for two and a half hours in the queue where there was no real idea of what was going on and uh, no one really seemed to know about it. The people at the hotel didn't know about it. Anyway, we managed to get some dinner, but out of all of it, I bumped into a, the only other English bloke on the uh, on the flight is a guy called Patrick, who actually makes hair products and does stuff with Ruger and Menspire, uh, and actually Palmer Barbers. So he knows a lot of people I know, but who would have thought it? So anyway, we've had an evening together. We had something to eat, and we just uh, got chatting. But now, we've, well, we finally got to sit down and have something to eat about 11 o'clock. It's now about quarter to 12. Got to go to bed now. Um, but I've got to get uh, up at five o'clock to go and try and get my luggage back because now it's going to be too late for me to go to Russia to go to the show tomorrow because by the time I fly in the show's going to be done. So I've got to get up at five o'clock, well half four, to get down to the terminal for five o'clock to then pick up my bag so that I can get home. So it's, not only is it hugely annoying and um, well just frustrating more than anything, I'm not going to get the work that I'm going to get from Kuhn, so down on money, down on time. I could have gone home to see my family like, I don't know, what, three days ago, rather than waiting for this visa in London, hotels by myself. But, you know, these things happen, so I just got to get on with it, and I'm going to try and get some sleep and get ready for tomorrow. And then I can head home, and the month long of uh, March trips all over the place is done. Well, at least for another week anyway.